Hello and welcome back, Indy here, and today we have something special. We have footage from the Gear Up F Series Virtual Race, and we did take part in this. This is the KZ1 class, and this is the faster class, and we qualified fourth, and we're going to go green here, and we're going to get a decent start. This was a very interesting race, as they had the boost turned on, so it did really keep everybody packed together, which was interesting, as we could not pull away in this faster pack of a group but we started fourth we're gonna go we're gonna have a an FA cart up our inside we're gonna fall to seventh as we were trying to be very clean on these opening couple of laps and just it's it was around a 30 minute race so we have time to really just hang out and just settle into the race not lose too many positions we're gonna try around the outside here and gonna actually fall further behind so we're back in ninth now as we're gonna have the inside for this corner which is going to promote us back into 8th position. We're following Bunch Baby Duck. We get a little loose as the cart was very loose at coming off the top of the hill. This is at Road Track B at Sardenja in Gran Turismo Sport, running the 125 shifter cart. And we come down into the uphill right-hander, down into 4th gear. You see they're having a great battle in front of us, and this is just a cluster. There was, I think, 12 people in this race. And... Everybody was relatively, or with the boost, everybody could run very close to each other in lap time wise, and it did keep everybody together. So this final corner was very difficult to get right. We actually do a pretty decent job, but a big mess in front of us, and we're actually going to get a good run and pr jump back up into fourth place here. Now we are in this Praga livery number 55 cart, and that was um one of the liveries as you can see a lot of these guys do have real cart liveries this is an intrepid leading this guy in the 44 but we'd go down into turn one this time and you see somebody goes off behind us and we're not going to lose any positions from that so lap two here this was a long race and we have settled in in the front here up into fourth place back to where we started we get a tap from behind going into the left hander and nearly come across and get involved with the Audi driver there but we stay out of trouble and we are gonna lose a couple more positions down into eighth place now coming through this corner the real mr. Lunt is right there he is in the FA cart he qualified right behind us in fifth and we were relatively close on qualifying pace and we're gonna come down into the right hander but the qualifying the pace really didn't matter because this we could already tell was just gonna be a cluster of a race with the boost on so we are coming around here in seventh place, getting a run through the left-hander. We have gapped some of the guys behind us, but they will catch right back up as the further behind you go, the faster you go. It is sort of like the Mario Kart thing, where it just rubber bands everybody back together. So into the left-hander this time, everybody seems to get a pretty decent run. We're actually not going to get a great run, but they are battling in front of us, and we are on the slipstream. And in the draft, you could maybe hit 112 if you were lucky on certain parts of the track when you're going down the hill and really I at this point was perfectly fine hanging out here and just trying to be clean and there's gonna be a massive pile up into turn one and that those two guys hit each other we're gonna actually escape it and that is gonna put us up into a decent position we're actually side by side with a couple carts if you look in the bottom right corner we do clear them and that is gonna put us back up into second place behind Bunch Baby Duck, who we were following earlier. So we're going to skip ahead. Not really. It's still on lap three here. And Bunch Baby Duck is going to run wide. And that is going to allow us to get a better run out of the corner. Three wide for a brief moment. And we are going to take the lead here on lap three in the Praga. And we're going to actually make a bit of contact. We did not see him. As it is very hard in this game to have spatial awareness in these carts. As, so we're going to skip ahead to lap 4. We did. We are still in the lead, and we do make a bit of a mistake there as we get completely sideways, and that is going to allow the Ferrari and the Intrepid to swarm us to go three wide. We hold on to the position from the Intrepid, and that is going to put us... Somebody else actually dives up under, underneath, so that is going to put us back into fourth place as the Intrepid is going to get around us there, and we're going to make a slight bit of contact there as we, we're not sure really where anybody was so skyline drifts 
73 is going to get through, so we're going to sit here and try to push him and catch these front runners again. And we're going to go into turn one here on lap five. Get on the brakes nice and early. No contact. Trying to get through. That guy, Retcher, 24, runs wide. He comes swinging back across the track and is going to collect Skyline Drift. So we're back up in the second place. And the boost took about, I think, three laps to make up about a six-second deficit. So everybody really is bunched together. That guy runs wide and makes a bit of contact. We skip ahead at the end of lap six here. Going on to lap seven, we are in second place. We are following the FA card. We're in the draft, and we're going to close right up to the back of him going into turn one. Are we going to look for a move? We are going to go around the outside, going to look for our breaking point, try to keep it clean. He's going to nudge us off just a bit and we are going to lose a couple positions, but even worse is we get nudged off there. He's going to come across, we're going to run into him, and we are just a sitting duck in the middle of the track, and we're just going to get absolutely taken out from behind. So if you take a look at it, it is, we are clean here. He moves over to make, as he lost control, we go across the grass, run into the back of him, and then just get absolutely destroyed from behind. So it didn't take very long for us to catch back up. We skip ahead to lap 10 here, as we have caught the lead pack again. And we are in around 5th place, 7th now, as it is. A, it was basically a huge pack of carts the entire race. Uh, there were small pockets of the race where it was like a 3-cart breakaway, but they were caught within a lap or two. And we did set a 29-0 catching back up, which is not a, still not a great lap. But we are in the pack. As a couple of people are going to run wide, there's a spinning cart in front of us. We're going to go to the right of the track to avoid it. And now Fusion in the Mercedes gets a, a not a great run off the corner. We actually do, and we're going to tuck into the slipstream of the Intrepid in front of us. And we are going to push him. He gives a little head look. And we're going to go into the left-hander with a pretty decent run. And we are in third place now, just trying to chase down the leaders. And the guys behind us are going off the track all over the place. So there were stretches like this where it was just like a three-cart or so breakaway but everybody else did catch right back up and the Intrepid's actually going to go to the lead here around the outside of the Ferrari driver and we are going to back off and try not make anything into the corner he opens up the inside and we're going to get actually hit from behind and forced off into the gravel and that is going to cause us to lose a decent amount of positions we're going to fall back into seven so we're going to take a look at it we were side by side we had the room the Mercedes driver is not lifting through the corner and that really just puts us off into the gravel so we're gonna jump back up to lap 12 now and we've caught these leaders and those guys actually have a bit of a mistake so we're back up in a third place as the real Mr. Lunt in the FA cart is in front of us followed by the Intrepid who's actually been leading for quite some time and he actually had figured out how to hold the lead during this time but now he's we're gonna look to the inside into the corner we're gonna back out of it because we don't want to cause a wreck here with still eight laps to go. So sitting in third place now, we're gonna try and chase these down. Those two guys are content pushing each other this lap, and I was too. I don't think I'm gonna go for a move here. I think I'm just gonna try and get with these guys, and they're actually gonna run side by side. We're gonna give a push to the Intrepid, try and get them around the outside under the brakes. We're breaking at the shadow down into fourth gear. They go side by side. We're actually gonna get a decent run off the corner, but Fusion, in the Mercedes gets a better run and we get a little loose there and that's going to actually drop us down into fifth place. So the pack is still leading down into fourth gear around the left hander still within seven tenths of the leader which is just crazy to think that I guess that's what the boost does it just keeps everybody completely very close together. This was probably one of the more spread out times of the race as we really only have five guys um, up towards the front of the pack but this is a cluster they're nearly four wide for a moment and down into this corner three wide the 73 cart backs out of it and the, the intrepid actually makes contact there and they all and the FA cart has a bad run so we're somehow back up in a second place as we followed the 73 cart as we both took a cautious approach to that corner to get the better exit and the Intrepid's actually going to come back at us on the outside. We're going to try to leave him the space. He does drop a wheel, and he's going to come back across the track and is going to make the corner as he had to downshift to do it. 
but he does make the corner now coming on to lap 14 we're in a cluster now of six carts as someone actually has caught the back of us so we are down in fifth place but there is a train on the inside that's going to try and make a move on us once you got in the slipstream in the draft here it was very hard to pass as everybody was just redlining and we're actually going to get a tap from behind and drop a wheel but not as bad as the guy in front of us who's going to completely spin off into the wall. That's going to give that guy a one-second penalty. Skip later on into the lap. Coming into the left end of the Ferrari, throws it in there, make a bit of contact. We run off, try and get it back on the track, hit a curb, and going to throw ourselves into the guardrail. So we're going to take another look at this. The Ferrari driver just throws it in us, gives us a tiny bit of contact. We're going to try and hang on. He hits us again, and we were fine until we hit the curb, and then we launched it straight into the barrier. So we're going to skip ahead on to late lap 16 as there's a cluster in front of us and we have caught the back of the pack now in 8th place. Around two, just under 2 seconds off the lead. The leader actually drives off the track. We're behind this 5 cart in front of us and we are going to try and close in on the lead as we've made up a ton of time through these last couple of corners as the leaders were all scrambling. We get a really nice run through that corner. We're going to run off wide. There's a guy spinning everywhere and we are actually going to hang on and we're back up in a fifth place here behind the 73 and the 23 cart. And we're going to try and get a run into turn one. We're not going to look for a move. We still have four laps to go. We're going to get on the brakes into the left hander. We try to avoid contact and we are and everybody got through cleanly as we all actually didn't hit each other but we are behind Munch Baby Duck again for another time in this race. We're going to get on the brakes for the left hander down into fourth gear. We're going to try and get on the power early. The guy behind us did get a better job. He's going to give us a little bit of a push down that little short shoot into the flat out right hander. We actually have to do a slight lift as we didn't have the best run. We're going to get a decent run out of the corner. We're in the draft going to close up big time in the draft in sixth place bunch baby duck in the cart in front of us and we're going to close up on the brakes the key here was trying to get a good exit we don't get, do the best job of that get a tap from behind and they're all nearly going four wide into that corner that's going to slow some of them up and it does as we are actually going to be able to make a move on two of them and up into fourth place as we're going to slot in behind this guy and actually just duck to the inside of him but we are gonna back out of it and fall back into fifth as the Mercedes cart just barges his way through but we are following him now as we come to just three laps to go following the Mercedes cart we are a one th we ended up running a 126 2 with the boost on which was just barely slower than the fastest lap of the race but we are going to get on the brakes here and we actually clipped the curb and we're going to make a mistake here and that is going to not really cost us that many positions but it is going to cost us there as we did make some contact and it is going to set up this corner for the intrepid who is actually going to back out of it and not try the inside but he's going to actually get the move done as we did miss our turning point just slightly now coming into the right hander there's a, a cart ghosting in front of us trying to serve his penalty and they're going three wide. Are we going to join in on the party? Yes, we are. We are going to draft up right behind, getting as close as we can in this draft. Going to look for the shadow right here, which is our breaking point. Down two gears, trying to get a good run on the exit. And we are going to get stuck to the Intrepid and actually cause a wreck there. And we did come down here. The Intrepid loses it a little bit, starts going over right, and we're not getting out of it and that is going to cause us to lose some positions so we're going to skip ahead to lap 19 second to last lap of the race and this is just not great as we could not stay off the intrepid as we actually made a mistake there and ended up on the curb which did send us into um the intrepid cart back across the track so that is actually going to give us a one second penalty which we are going to have to deal with on this lap we try to kill some of it off here we're gonna try and spread it out but I'm not sure we're actually gonna get it killed we're in the draft which we could really try to kill it here but with just one lap to go I'd rather get towards the front and serve the penalty at the end of the race so we're gonna go off board for this last lap so we're in the 55 cart we are 
hanging around here. We are trying to kill some of our penalty there. The Intrepid's running behind us. He's going to dive to our inside. We're going to let him go. This is the last lap of the race, as we really do need to find our way to the front. We were sort of relying on the fact that there was there is going to be some carnage in this last lap as we've seen as there's carnage on plenty of the other laps before as we're coming up through here in the 55 cart we are going to go around the outside of this black cart he has a penalty he's trying to kill off too make a bit of contact there and he's actually going to come back we're three wide for a brief second we're going to suck up to the 63 cart and we're going to make that position stick for the time being there's a whole cluster of carts going on in front of us as you can just see from the off board there's just a whole cluster we go down into here down into the braking there's a big crash in front of us as two guys get taken out there so we're gonna go around the outside of a couple more and right now we are in like sixth place coming into these final couple of corners yes we are in sixth place with just two corners to go we're gonna come into the final corner right here and the FA car drops a wheel coming in, and they're all going to end up not getting a great run. We're going to stick to the inside in the draft. We're going to get a bit of a contact there. They're wrecking behind us. We are up into second place and trying to kill our penalty, and it's not going to happen. We do end up having to serve the one-second penalty, which means we are going to end up finishing fourth on officially, but we did finish second on track, and that was all that matters. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and comment below what kind of content you would like to see on this channel. And see you guys next time. Indopolis signing out.